For the last 15 years, I've been researching social networks and behavior change at MIT, Harvard, and Penn. I've consulted for many companies and organizations, helping them to innovate their thinking and get their message to the right people. One thing I've consistently noticed is that there are a lot of misconceptions about how to effectively create change among consumers. For example, I'm sure that you, like most of us, have heard that the most effective way to sell your product is to get a celebrity endorsement, or that the crucial factor for making your product or mission succeed is to have it go viral. In my new book, Change, I will share some of the latest discoveries about behaviors and social influence to help your company steer clear of these common marketing misconceptions and show you how to inspire real change in customer behavior as well as increased innovation within your organization. I want to take a moment to bust three commonly held myths in marketing departments. Myth number one, the myth of the influencer. It's common to think that because influencers are so highly connected, that they're the people to go to to spread a new idea or innovation to everyone else in the population. Well, influencers, because they have so many people they're connected to, also have a lot of people watching them. So when it comes to the adoption of an unlikely innovation or an unfamiliar behavior or a contentious idea, influencers are a little bit wary about adopting that idea until they see that more people are comfortable with it. In fact, those kinds of innovations typically take hold in the periphery of society, and they tend to spread until they gain a critical mass, at which point the influencers feel comfortable adopting. Myth number two, the myth of virality. It's tempting to think that everything spreads like a virus does, but did you know that the most effective change campaigns in American history, for instance, the spread of hybrid corn to American farmers, the spread of support for marriage equality, and the spread of membership on Facebook and Twitter did not spread virally. Each of them followed unexpected network pathways to reach their remarkable success, but none of them spread like a virus. Myth number three, the myth of stickiness. There are some products that seem destined for success. They're fun, they're easy to use, they're novel, and they're easy to talk about. We typically refer to these products as sticky, the idea being that any product that has these traits will be successful. But did you know that the vast majority of products that succeed aren't sticky in this way? In fact, sticky products often lose, and more mundane, more expensive, and less effective products often win. What could be more important than the qualities of the product itself? The answer is social networks. Products that make effective use of social networks often outcompete stickier products. In my new book, Change, I will give you a playbook with actionable strategies for building an infrastructure to support the growth of new ideas within your organization and the spread of new products among your customers. Hachette.